JSON is an extremely important concept in JavaScript and it's something that's heavily, heavily used. So let's understand it. So what is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So that's the full form of JSON. It's a lightweight format for storing and transporting data. Often used when data is sent from a server to a web page. So typically when you go to a browser and are checking your Gmail or Facebook or anything, most of the data is getting transported using JSON. Its popularity is because it's self-describing, easy to understand, easy to read. What are some of the rules, the syntax rules for JSON? Data is in name value pairs and the value can be any of string, number, boolean, array, object or null. Data is separated by commas. Curly braces hold objects and square brackets hold arrays. We have already seen that square brackets are used to define arrays and curly brackets hold or curly braces hold objects. So let's look at a few examples, define a few JSON so that these rules and its power becomes clearer to us. Let's define a JSON. So let me say let student1 is equal to. So look at the brace I have put in a curly brace. Name is Jack. So this is a name value pair we have given. Name Jack. Age let's say we give it 25. And look at these values are separated by comma. Then we can say Jack is studying the module Java script. That's another string value. Chapters completed. Let's say R. And this is now an array square brackets. Say for and string. And has Jack completed the course? So completed is another field. And let's give it the property false. So that's a boolean. So here I have defined a JSON. I can go ahead and say console.log student1 and let's run it. And now when I run it, I get this object. So age is 25, chapters is an array, completed is false, module is JavaScript and name is Jack. So we have created this JSON object. Now what are some things we can do with it? So I could have said console.log student1 say name. Now when I run it, what do I get? I get Jack. Let me just comment this line. Similarly, if I said console.log age, I would get the age. And that is how we can access any property here. I could have said chapters. And that array is getting printed. So this is one way we can access it. Similarly, we could have changed those values. I could have said student name is equal to instead of Jack, we want to give the full name. Let's say Jack Smith. And now if I do a console on log on the student's name, it has become Jack Smith. And now if I print the JSON on the console, what do I get? The name has modified to Jack Smith. So we can change this name. Similarly, we could have just changed the age, student1 age is say 26. And if I do the same thing again, so in this JSON, the age is 26. In the earlier JSON, it was 25. So we have been able to modify it. I can do it for the array also. So let me define a variable, say, called chaps, which is the chapters is student one dot chapters. Now I can print it on the console like we did it. I could have also said, suppose Jack has completed another chapter and I want to push it. So I could use that push 
and let's say I want to push functions. Now once I have pushed it, let me log the student again and I am commenting these so that it becomes clearer. So now let me run it and what has the array become? It has become, it has now three chapters for string functions. So we have modified chapters also. So this way we can modify any field. Suppose we wanted to print a field which does not exist, then what will happen? So if I say here, console.log say date of birth. Now there is no field or property called date of birth in this JSON. So what will it give me? It will give me an undefined. So it has given me an undefined. There is another way wherein we could have accessed all these properties. So let me just copy these three lines and show it to you. So I could have said instead of accessing it this way, I could have said student dot name student one dot age student one dot chapters. So it's another way in which we can access the and you can see we are getting the correct values. Now these are two ways. What are the when should we use which so depending one what you become comfortable with but there is another difference between them which helps us so i can say let say variable one is equal to name now i can say console dot log student one variable one so depending upon the value of variable one i have not put in quotes here and let me comment these lines out. I get Jack Smith. If I change the name of this variable, I get 26. So sometimes if you want to use it as a parameter, then this method can be used. This method, we have to specify the field name. We cannot put it in a variable and use it. So just like we defined student one, let me define a couple of more students. So now I have three JSONs here. I could have done the same thing console.log. I can print any one of them. So let's print student two. And we get the values of student two. What we could have also done here is I could have defined const student array the array of students is an array and i could have said student 1 student 2 student 3 so i have now defined an array st array and this array right now has these three students student 1 student 2 student 3 if i do a console dot log st array it will print this array with the three json in it so we can see it's printing three arrays and these are the three arrays which are the three JSONs in it in the array. So we have created an array of JSONs. Let's say we want to create another object. Let's say let prof equal to, let's say name is Steve and email is say steve at gmail.com so we have created another json by the name prof and what we want to do now is after creating this json we want to create another json say js course for our javascript course and what of fields does it have it has faculty and this faculty we want is this professor so i can just assign that variable here so that variable i have assigned it I can say I want the students. So my students are there in ST array. So I have attached this variable here. Let's say we had a start date to the course and start date was say 21 June.
so that's a value and say next class is say 8th july so we have created this json object js course and now if i go ahead and print it what do i get console.log js course let's run it so we have a faculty we have a next class we have a start date if i go into the faculty i get the object that we attached here if i go into students i get all the three students so in this json object js course we have faculty which is an json object in itself students which are an array and we have put in used variables to put in those values like we printed it we could have also said console.log js course dot faculty now what would be js course dot faculty it should give me the json object here and print it let me run it so it gives me this json object i could have also said console dot log json course dot students if i say that it should print that array which is what it has done and now i can go ahead and use them in exactly the same fashion that we used so far so we have seen how to access the fields of a json and what kind of values it has let we have also seen how to modify it but how do we add a field to a json also so let me say define address is equal to this now this is a json object but there is nothing in this json object so if i do console dot log address and run it it's an empty json object there are no name value pairs in it let's start adding something to it so i can say address line 1 so the first line of the address is equal to say 214 tower b now what will happen here if line 1 was there in this address its value would get updated as we saw earlier if it is not there this new field will get added to the json let's run it let me just put a console of log before so it was empty and now this line 1 has been added here if i put this again and i say no it is not tower b it was tower b8 and now i print it what would happen the value got updated because this field or this line 1 was there the value got updated but if it was not there it created this field let's put on more stuff so i'll delete this so i could have also said address dot line 2 we can also access it like that like we said earlier is equal to say central avenue now if i run it it has line 1 and it has line 2 both of them are behaving in the same fashion we can keep on adding more and more such fields to it and we can do it so here now this has become a json now I could have also like I have used other JSONs I could have set address dot line one. I could have printed this, which has now given me the value. So I can access, modify, add fields to this JSON. Let's look at some problems with JSON and understand them better. Create JSON for each employee with the following details. So there is name, department, designation, rate, salary and race. So these are the five fields for each employee JSON and these values have been given to us. Sam, tech, manager and all that. So how do we do it? So this was the data given to us. These are the data of the three employees and these are the fields. So let's start creating them. So I can say let employee one is equal to name is a sam department is tech 
designation is manager salary is 40000 and raise is true so i have created this json let me just run it and see if it is by printing it so i have created this json let me go ahead and create the next json so let me just copy this employee 2 and what are the values they are mary finance trainee 18500 and true now if i print employee 2 i get the details of mary so i have created the second employee similarly let me create the third employee employee 3 and what were the details for employee 3? Bill, HR, Executive, 21200 and false. Let me go ahead and print this employee and we get the details of Bill. So we have created all the three employees. What does the next question say? Create JSON for the company with the following details, company name, website and employees. So company name is Techstars, they have given us the website and employees is an array of the employees we created in the previous exercise. So what do we need to do? We have our employees and now we need to create the JSON for the company. So let me say let company is equal to and what are the fields? Company name, which is tech stars, website, which is this is the value, and what is the third? It is employees, which is an array of the employees. So let's create that array first. So I can say const employees or emp array let me call it is the array of these employees and let me put them in it emp1 emp2 emp3 these were the three employees we created earlier so i have now put them in this array and now i can say employees is emp array and i can do a console.log company now if i run it what do i get so this is the json that got created it has company name it has website and it has employees which is an array with all the three employees in it a new employee has joined the company update the json of the company so what do we need to do we need to create a json for this employee and update the company which means in the array of employees we want this employee to be added so a new employee has joined so first thing let's create the json so let me just for simplicity copy the earlier json's we were doing and modify it so i can say employee 4 name is anna department is tech salary is this so we have the employee now it has asked us to update the json so we have been we want to use the json of the company to update it so how can we do it we have this json company so i can say company dot employees now that is my company dot employees will be my array of employees so i can say companies dot employees dot push employee 4 so in my company dot employees i can push employee 4 and now if i say console dot log company let's see if it has the four employees so now there are four employees and anna is also there in that array so we use that json of a company now if we have the json of just the company we can access everything so we don't need it to maintain so many variables or do it 
I can access it using the company JSON, which is what we have done here. What does it say next? Given the JSON for the company, calculate the total salary bill for the company. So we need to calculate the total salary given the JSON. So one thing we can do is just for, to understand it better and make it simple. Let me define a function compute salary. And this function will take a parameter which is the company JSON and use that to calculate the salary or compute the salary. So now I've got the JSON. What do I need to do? I will need to find out the employees. So I can say let amp array is equal to comp JSON dot employees. That was my array name of my field in the JSON. Once I have the employees, I can put a loop. So for let i is equal to 0 i less than dot length i plus plus because it is an array so i can set let employee is equal to emp arr i now i get an individual employee json now now within that employee json i know salary is this field so i can say i need to find the total so let me say let total is equal to 0 so I can say now total is equal to total plus EMP dot salary. That is the salary of this employee. So now I have added it to the total. And after the for loop, I can just return total. So now this function will compute the salary given this JSON and return it. Can I run it? Yes, I can say console. I can say or I can say let total salary is equal to compute salary and give it the JSON of the company. company. Now I have gotten that field I can console.log total salary is let us run this. So we get 10,500. 105300. Should we check it? How do we check it? Let's make these values very simple. So let me make them say 40,000, 20,000, 25,000, and say 30,000. So what would be the sum? 60, 85, 150. Let's run it. I get 115000. So I have computed the salary and tested it also. Next, what does it say? The salaries of employees have to be revised. For an employee, if raise, raise we remember was a field in the JSON for the employee, is true, the salary is increased by 10%. Given the JSON for the company, update the salary for each employee and set raise to false after updating. So once we have updated it, we want to set raise to false because we have done that change. So what is our objective? Let's create a function which processes the raise. So let me name that function. So function process raise. And what does it do? It will take the company JSON and it will process the raise. So let me get the employee array because that is what I need to use. So com json dot employees now i'll need to iterate over each employee for let i is equal to zero i less than emp array dot length i plus plus what do i need to do i need to process the race so let me say let employee is equal to emp arr so i get the employee json which is there at that location in that array now i will say if emp dot raise if this is true then i need to raise the salary change the salary so what i need to do then employee dot salary is equal to 
employee dot salary increase of 10 percent so i can do into 1.10 so that's a 10 percent increase and once i have done that what should i do i need to put raise as false this is what we need to do if it was true and if it was false then we need to do nothing so there is no else here now once we have done all of it for all the employees our processing of raise is over so i can now say console dot log company now if i do it will this work no it will not work because i have just defined this function i have not called it so let me put the function call process raise and pass it the company json now once i pass it this function is called this processing will be done and now when i run it i should get it let's see employees each employee so sam's salary went up same for mary bill has remained the same and anna has remained the same and for sam and mary the raise has become false which is what we were looking for let's look at the next exercise some employees are working from home an array of their names has been provided use the json to update the company json use the array to update the company json what do we need to do for each employee add another prop property wfh which is a work from home and set it to true or false so if that employee is in that array we will make it true otherwise we will make it false and what data has been given employees working from home is this array anna and sam so let's say const work from home employees is this array which has been given anna comma sam it could have been anything and let me now define a function add work from home which takes the company json and this array and will do the requisite processing so what do i need to do for each employee we need to find out whether it's in the array whether it is in the array if it is in the array if yes put wfh as true otherwise false this is what we are looking to do so for each employee we will need to do it so let us start let employee array is equal to comp json dot employees now for each employee let's iterate for let i is equal to 0 i less than employee array dot length i plus plus let emp is equal to emp arr i so i have now found the ith employee now what do i need to do if this employee is there in the array if this employee's name is in the array then we will make work from home true otherwise we will make it false so let's say if i had a function if check in array emp dot name if this string is there in this array which array work from home employees then what do i need to do then i can say emp dot work from home is equal to true else i can say emp dot work from home is equal to false this is what i can do so if i had such a function this would work for me now if this is making sense let's go ahead and define that function so let me say function check in array now it needs to check this value in this arr 
is this value in this ARR or not? So I can simply do for let i is equal to 0, i less than ARR dot length. I will check and compare with each value in the array. If ARR i is equal to value. If we find that value, then what should we do? We will simply return a true. And if at the end of the loop we have not returned, which means we did not find it, let's return a false. So now we have developed this function check in array. So we can do this. Or it could be even simpler if we could have just said employee.work from home is equal to check in array emp.name comma we could have said this also because this function is returning true or false only and that is the value we are setting so let's simplify it and do it now that we have done it let's call the function so we need to call add work from home with the parameters company comma work from home employees once we have done that let's just print it on the console console.log company let's run it comp json so we should have not called it with comp json it should have been company here now when we run it what do we get let's look at the employees sam Sam was in the list, so work from home, true. Mary should be false, so we get work from home, false. For Bill, Bill is not in that array, false. For Anna, it is true. Let's change it. Let's say we add Bill also to it and remove Sam. Let's run it again. So Sam is false. Mary is false. Bill is again false. Bill is sorry true and Anna is true as we would want it to be.